Hello, peeps. Welcome back to the show. Welcome to Bold Talk by Joe podcast. Hopefully everybody's doing great. I am going to continue with some history. And today we're going to have some history on Mexico. I, for the longest time, people used to tell me, right? They're like, hey, man, today we're going to have a beer and some tacos to celebrate your Independence Day. And I would look at them and I would look at the calendar and I'm like, wait a minute. Today's not September 16th. Today is Cinco de Mayo. That is not our Independence Day. So in order for people to understand the actual history, I decided to make a nice little episode on Mexico's history. So today we're going to talk about one of the most important events in Mexico's history. It's independence. On September 16th of 1810, Mexico declared its independence from Spain, and it has been celebrated as Independence Day ever since. To understand the significance of Mexico's independence, we need to go back to the 16th, 16th century when the Spanish conquistadors arrived in Mexico. They colonized the country and ruled over it for over 300 years. During this time, the Mexican people were oppressed and exploited, and they were, they were treated as second-class citizens in their own country. The Mexican War of Independence was the result of various factors, such as an economic exploitation, social inequality, and political oppression. The people of Mexico were tired and being treated as second-class citizens and wanted to be free from Spanish rule. The ideas of enlightenment and the French and the American revolutions also played a role in inspiring the Mexican people to fight for their independence. The movement for independence was led by several notable figures, including Father Miguel Hidalgo, Jose Maria Morelos, and Vicente Guerrero. These leaders organized an army of peasants and worked to fight against the Spanish forces. They were successful in winning several battles, but the war was long and difficult. Finally, in 1821, after over 10 years of fighting, Mexico gained its independence from Spain. The country was now free to govern itself and make its own decisions. However, the struggle for independence was not the end of Mexico's problems. The country faced many challenges, including political instability, economic inequality, and social justice. Today, Mexico celebrates, celebrates its independence on September 16th with parades and fireworks and other festivities. It is the day to remember the bravery of and determination of those who fought for Mexico's freedom. It is also a reminder of the ongoing struggle for justice and equality in Mexico and around the world. So that being said, now I'm going to talk to you about Cinco de Mayo, because it is important that we separate both uh, both stories, right? Because you have to know where is this came from. We have to know what, what the actual history is is about this country. So I'm now I'm going to talk about a holiday that is celebrated not only in Mexico, but it's also in the United States and many other countries around the world. Cinco de Mayo on this on May 5th, many people celebrate with parades and music and food. But what exactly is Cinco de Mayo and why is it important? Contrary popular belief, Cinco de Mayo is not Mexican Independence Day, which I said earlier. Mexico declared its independence from Spain on September 16th of 1810. And on that day, is celebrated as Independence Day in Mexico. Cinco de Mayo commemorates the Battle of Puebla, which took place on May 5th of 1862. At the time, Mexico was in a financial crisis, and it was unable to pay the debts to France, Britain, and Spain. The three countries sent troops to Mexico to demand payment. While well, Britain and Spain eventually withdrew their forces, France remained and continued to advance toward Mexico. The Mexican army, led by General General Ignacio Zaragoza, was vastly outnumbered by French troops led by General Charles de Lorence. Oh, that's like French. I don't know how to... Charles de Lorence. <laughs> Despite the odds, the Mexican army won the battle and forced the French to retreat. The Battle of Puebla was a significant victory for Mexico and is seen as a symbol of Mexican resistance to foreign aggression. The significance of Cinco de Mayo has evolved over time, right? 
in Mexico, it is primarily celebrated in the state of Puebla, where the battle took place. However, here in the United States, Cinco de Mayo has become a celebration of Mexican-American culture and heritage. It is a day to honor the contributions of Mexican-Americans to American society and to recognize the importance of diversity and cultural exchange. So there you have it. That was a brief history of Cinco de Mayo. So we all understand the difference between those two. Because sometimes when you're are with you're talking to a Mexican person, right, that's born in Mexico as myself, and you come and tell me that you're gonna celebrate my independence day and it's Cinco de Mayo, that is not the correct date. It's like me going and telling you on Memorial Day that I am that I am celebrating your independence day. And you as an American person that's born here are going to go, that is not my Independence Day, dude. You should get your history right. That is exactly what I'm going to be told. So now I am telling you, the people that didn't know the history, Cinco de Mayo is not our Independence Day. September 16th is Mexican Independence Day. Hopefully you loved this episode and it was informative and a little bit of history from me and my Mexican people. Until next time, peace.